This week on Machinery PTV, a cold rainy day didn't deter interest in this line of 30 series tractors, especially the 4230, which brought in top dollar. In Tractor Tales, tracking down a lost Minneapolis Moline, and behind the gavel, the origins of Showpig.com. Your machinery is a serious investment, and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery PTV, coming at you today from Wilmington, Ohio. I'm cold and soaked, but you're warm and dry, and you're going to have a ball watching this show today, folks. We're going to see seven John Deere 30 Series tractor sell, a 2030, 2630, 4030, 4230, 4430, 4630, and the 8430. Now before all that fun, let's go back and catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. A new survey says farmers are less optimistic about the future. The July Ag Economy Barometer from Purdue University and the CME Group showing a farmer sentiment reading of 118. Now, that's just one point above where it was in June. The biggest shift was in producers' perspectives on current versus future conditions, with the index of future expectations falling five point lower than in June, although a clear majority of farmers responding to the survey were still worried about coronavirus impacting their farm's profitability. The percentage of farmers who were either fairly worried or very worried has been declining since March. According to new numbers from the American Farm Bureau, Chapter 12 farm bankruptcies slowed in the second quarter to 115 filings, down nearly 50 filings from the previous year. Economists say the reason is likely due to the stimulus provided in the CARES Act and to some extent the difficulties associated with having to file a Chapter 12 case virtually. For the year, ending in June, Chapter 12 filings totaled 580 cases, up 8% compared to a year ago, farm bankruptcies were the highest in Wisconsin, Nebraska, Georgia, and Minnesota. A big dredging project is planned for the lower Mississippi River, which is a major channel for soybean exports. The United Soybean Board making that announcement, saying the Army Corps of Engineers will be funding and proceeding with deepening the Missouri River from 45 to 50 feet between Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and the Gulf of Mexico. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. That's it for news, now back to Machinery P. Hey folks, you love John Deere 4430s? Then stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. The 74 model, just over 6,400 hours quad range. Kenny Bean and Kenny, you're John Deere 30 Series man. You have quite a collection. Thank you. Yeah. When did you start uh, building the 30 Series collection? Uh, early 80s. Uh, I uh, the 4630 was the first tractor that this I. This was your first one. This is the first one I bought. I mean, you know, I didn't get it new, sure. but I I bought it off of a dealer down Hillsboro High. Yeah. It was the very first one I 
bought. Uh, units have about a bit of 12,000, now 5, now 13,000, daughter shall name you about a bit of 13, now 5, yellow coattail, uh, you're going to get 13, 5, 14,000, daughter shall name you about a bit of 14, you're going to get 14, 5, you're going to get 14, 5, you're going to get 15,000, daughter shall name you about a bit of 15, you're going to get 15, 5, 16,000, you're going to get 16,000, daughter shall name you about a bit of 15, you're going to get 16,000, you're going to get 16,000, daughter shall name you about a bit of 15, you're going to get 15,000, daughter shall name you about a bit of 15, you're going to get 15, 7, 15, 16,000, Dale, you're going to get 16,000, daughter, now 2 and a half, you're going to get Keep it about a bit, keep it about a bit, sixteen two fifty. Are you going to get sixteen two and a half? Are you going to keep it about a bit, keep it about a bit, keep it about a bit, sixteen two and a half? Are you going to get two and a half? Did I hear it? Are you going to get down sixteen five? Are you going to get sixteen five? Are you going to get five and a half? Are you going to get sixteen seven fifty? Are you going to get sixteen? Are you going to get seven? Are you going to get five? Are you going to get sixteen seven hundred and fifty dollars? You able to bid on? Are you going to get sixteen seven and everybody else? Are you going to get sixteen seven fifty to bid on them and die? Are you going to get sixteen seven fifty to bid on them and die? Are you going to get sixteen seven fifty to bid on them and die? Are you going to get sixteen seven fifty to bid on them and die? Hey folks, I'm here with the buyers of our 1975 John Deere 46 30 day 16.5. We got Mike and Lauren from, is it West Liberty, West, West Virginia? West Liberty, West Virginia, yes. yes. Right. And you, we have help. We have MJ and Reese. Yep. You guys are what, 16, 17 years old? No. No, how, four. four years old? Awesome. <laughs> Well, congratulations on the tractor. Thank you. Uh, beautiful. And I understand it'll it'll fit right in with your collection of John Deere's at yes, home? Yes, sir. We got a 4430, 4455, a 4030, and a 2030. Okay. It's right in there with just a little bit bigger horse. Perfect. How do you how do you plan to use it back home? Uh probably on a little bit of tillage and machinery. Um, either probably the round baler or the chopper also. Okay. In the fall. And how long a drive was it from West Virginia for you guys uh, down here about to three and a half hours. It's not too bad. No, yeah, it, was, it was a nice drive. Never been in this part of the country, so. A little drive, stand in the rain, and go home with a nice 4630. That's right. That's right. Perfect day. Right. Awesome. Right. And what do you guys think? You like this tractor? Who's going to drive it first? I like that tractor. Oh, <laughs> you like that one. That's too big, Well, baby. maybe next time. Yeah. yeah, maybe next time. Yeah. All right. So, Kenny, tell me about your John Deere 4430. A little over 6,400 hours on it. Yep. I uh, bought it from a... Uh, local uh, dealership right over here and uh, bought it in a uh, 12 row corn planter at the same time. A 7,012 row? Yep, right. 7,012 row and uh, been a very good tractor to me. I haven't had any trouble at all. Are you looking for a team? You're going to be $14,000. Sean, you're going to be $14,000. 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 you are going to be 14 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 you are going to be 
only on MachineRepeat.com. Well, my auctioneer friend Kevin Wendt has built an amazing auction company, the Wendt Group, but I tell you what, he's also built, along with his wife Megan, an amazing business, Showpig.com. So Showpig.com is a, a company that uh, we started in 2000. Uh, we had a good friend of ours that actually owned the company at that time, and it's when the website craze had kind of started. Uh, and so the main focus of that website was to allow breeders an opportunity to post their animals, have pictures of them, you know, promote auctions. At that time, we were doing quite a few live auctions of uh, show pigs. And so it was a way for them to just kind of promote and start to market in the online arena. Uh, quite honestly, I think most people thought, hey, this online thing isn't going to work, you know. Um, but uh, so my wife and I uh, uh, decided that we would kind of plunge into that. And, and we bought it from a friend of ours that was really didn't want to take it any further. Sure. And uh, so we purchased it in 2000 and then kind of made some improvements, ramped up some things, started doing banner ads, e-blasts, uh, just, you know, kind of changed the face of it. And it really took off and then started to grow. So we'll typically do uh, north of about 1,200 auctions a year um and sell 20 to 25,000 head of pigs when we started i was doing about 50 to 60 live auctions from the middle of march till the middle of may and now i'll maybe do 10 or 12 live events but we'll do you know five or six hundred online events but it's allowed that smaller producer you know venue and exposure uh it's also helped us like with travel you know i mean i'm not traveling as much as i you know as i was doing individually but i don't think it would have been as successful had i not already been in that space you know as a live auctioneer the you know they trust feel for it. they trusted me they trusted our company they understood what we were doing and we just kind of broadened it and made it bigger and better and then i was fortunate to get you know a lot of good people to work for us to help us Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we've got a great family tractor story for you from Illinois. We're gonna learn about a Minneapolis Moline U. Paul Butler searched for his grandfather's tractor several years after it was sold. When he found it, one identifying mark confirmed it was the family tractor. So this was my grandpa's 1951 U. Um, he sold it when, uh, at his auction when he retired farming in 1976. And I started farming in 2003 and wanted to find this tractor. I spent a lot of time looking for it, calling auctioneers all over the country. And one popped up uh, just about five, six miles from here. And the serial numbers matched. It had been back of a guy's shed for years. And we weren't sure, just kind of after all the looking, couldn't believe it, and went over to look at it. And we found my grandfather's handwriting. He'd actually written all over it before it was restored. And we preserved a few of the spots. But uh, my dad wasn't too keen on buying. He's like, what do you want that old thing for? It's going to be in the way. You know, that, we got there and we found Grandpa's handwriting. We had the manuals where it had his notes and everything in it. And dad's like, you got to buy this tractor. I'm like, I know. <laughs> so I bought it and had it restored uh, by a guy down at Moeekwe, Illinois. And did a good job. It was a little rough when we first got it. It was running, but uh, not much more. And uh, uh, he, went, he uh, did a lot of the, uh, did all the painting on it and everything and the body work. They were using it to uh, just run an auger. Since Grandpa retired in 76, clear up until 2003, they'd drag it out of the shed, they'd run the auger, and they'd put it back in the shed. So it probably didn't have, you know, a mile on the tires, which are the tires that Grandpa had on it. We had to replace the front ones, but the rear ones are those same tires that I remember as a little kid. Wow. Nothing, just parades and hay rides and, uh, you know, tractor rides, stuff like that. I attempted to put it on auger something, I don't think, so I think it'll just, stay in the shed and stay clean. It'll never leave the farm as long as I'm alive. Hey folks, I'm standing out here in the cold rain, but you know what, it's totally worth it. Stay tuned, we're gonna watch our feature item sell this sharp John Deere 4230.
Register for Farm Journal Field Days, the new American Farm Show at fjfielddays.com. Well, folks, you want to talk about holding your value well? John Deere 4230s. Back in 2004, the average auction price, 10556 bucks. Last year, average auction price, 10551 What did you use this for on the farm? Uh, I mainly run an auger with it. I had a on auger about uh, the whole time, or uh, when I had some spreading some lime floods on the uh, spreader. But uh, So now, uh, leading up to the sale, Kenny, with the 30 series tractors, have you been getting uh, calls kind of equally on all of them or any ones in particular? Maybe this 4230, the, I'm guessing? The 4230 is probably I've had more calls on it than I have anything, you know, in the uh, 30 series lineup and everything. Kind of a nice, nice size. It's a, it's a, it? Yes, it's a, it's an all-around good ginning size. You could bail with it, or you know, do about a. Twenty thousand. You get twenty two hundred. Ten eleven. Right now, proud. Thirteen. Even about to get thirteen. Even about to get thirteen thousand. You get twelve. Even about to get thirteen fourteen thousand dollars on them. You get thirteen. Even about fourteen fifteen thousand. Now sixteen thousand dollars on them. Even about seventeen eighteen. I'm an eighteen. Even about to get eighteen. Even about to get eighteen. Even about nineteen thousand dollars on them. Even about to get nineteen thousand. I'm an eighteen nineteen. You get eighteen. Even about nineteen. Even about eighteen five. You get eighteen. Even about to get five. Even about to get eighteen five. Now nineteen thousand. I'm a 19, even about a 19, even a 19, even about a 19,000. He look at 19, 5. He look at 19, even about a 5, even about a 19, 5. And now 20,000 dollars. He look at 20, even about a 20, even about a 20,000 dollars. You'll like it much better, sir, being able to tell your wife you brought a 20,000 dollar tractor. He look at 19, 5, get 20. He look at 20, even about a 20,000 dollars, Johnny, even about 19, 750. He look at 19, 7 half. He look at you want back in, sir. He look at 19, 750. He look at 19, Mr. Sednati, even about a 19, even about a 19, 7 and a half. Look at 19, look at 7 and a half, look at 5, look at 19, 750, under the LC, look at 19, 7 and a half, 19, 750, yes or no, I'm gonna go, you look at 19, 750, 19, 750, on them and I, uh, sold 19,500. 98. Buyer number 98, thank you guys, buyer 98. Well, folks, last year at auction, I only saw five John Deere 4230s sold without a loader that got over 17,000 bucks. Our feature item on the sale today, the 4230, no problem passing that mark, sells for $19,500. Hey, folks, I've got some really big news that I'm excited about. Uh, all these years, 30 years now, I've been covering auctions, compiling all the sale price data. If you wanted to look at all the prices that I've compiled, you had to be a subscriber. You had to pay. And that goes all the way back to the auction books I started putting out fall of 1989 up until our website, machinerepeat.com, was put up in spring of 2000 up till today. Well, I tell you what, that changes today because now auction price data is free on machinerepeat.com. And folks, we've got over 725,000 auction sale prices waiting for you on every imaginable a piece of equipment, all categories of equipment, and this info is updated every day. So folks, just go to machinerypeat.com and look for the auction price link. And when you click on it, I tell you what, we've got some really fun and powerful ways to search through all this auction price data. Let's say, for example, you're trying to figure out what a New Holland 570 square baler is worth. So I've done, I filled in, in that information here. We've got 128 of them that we've seen sold at auction. Now it will always show you the most recent ones first and there's a, a powerful tool, a little average pricing link in the upper right. Now if you click that, it'll quickly pop up and show you the average price on that item. So on a New Holland 570 square baler, you can see average price this year so far $6,687. Now let's say you were trying to put a value on a John Deere S680 combine. So you do the search, we've got almost 500 of them, again the most recent ones showing up first, but let's say you want to narrow this down to just a 2012 model, first year they came out. So you fill in one of our filters on the left for the year, and now we've got 162 just 2012 models. And now if you click on the average pricing link, this really gets interesting, because now you can see the rate of depreciation on a 2012 S680 over the last eight years with a high and a low each of the last eight years. So again, folks, very simple. Go to machinerypeat.com, click on the auction price link, and all this information is waiting for you, updated every day, and don't forget, 
Tell your friends. Well, folks, I gotta tell you, it's totally worth it to stand out in the cold rain for hours when you get to watch tractors like this sell. The John Deere 4230, 19.5, hot bidding on the 4630 and the 4430. Thanks for joining us on Machinery Pete TV. We'll see you back here next week. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com.